What is going on guys? JT Judgment here and welcome to another Legend Review in Ultimate Team. Today we're going to be looking at, as you can see on the screen right now, we've got the 88 rated Legend goalkeeper David Seaman. Now we have taken a look at Edwin van der Sar, we've also taken a look at Jens Lehmann. Guys, today we're going to be looking at the third and final option for a Legend goalkeeper in Ultimate Team, David Seaman. Now... I just want to start off by saying, you know, if I were to compare Seaman to the uh, the other legend goalkeepers, I've got to say he's the worst. Now, let me explain why. Starting off with his diving. His 78 diving on the card, honestly, I went into games not expecting much because for a 78 rated diving start on a legend, it's not a lot, you know. But I gotta say he outperformed that stat. You know, he, he made a lot of diving saves that I expected him not to save, basically, because his diving stat was so poor for an 88 rated legend goalkeeper. But I was really surprised by the amount of diving saves that he managed to pull off. If I had to say how much I thought he had without knowing what he actually had, I'd honestly say it was in the mid 80s. It really was that good, you know? And I gotta agree. And say that his diving is so much better than what his card fist stat says, you know. Uh, as for his reflexes, 85 on the card i got to agree with. He performed as if he had 85 reflexes. No more, no less. His reaction time was very, very good. He is very reliable in one-on-ones, which is what I liked a lot about him. Moving on to his two key stats onto the card face, guys. We've got 90 handling and 93 kicking. Now, one of those stats i got to agree with and one I have to disagree with. The one I have to agree with is his kicking. His kicking is honestly just as good as the Team of the Year Neuer's. And I didn't think I'd say this because the Team of the Year Neuer's kicking is phenomenal. But i got to say, I don't think I missed one kick with Lehman. Every time I kicked the ball, it would go to my player. It would land perfectly at their feet. You know, and I'm not the sort of person that kicks the ball oftenly. I've got the habit of just throwing the ball out. But whenever I kick the ball with Lehman, it would land at my player's feet. So i got to say, i got to agree with that 93 kicking stat. Uh, i got to disagree with the handling stat, like I said. Um, he would just fail in situations where he would perform, should have performed better. You know, he's the sort of keeper where I would play two or three games and he would perform out of this world. He would save absolutely everything. Then I would play another game, and out of the blue, he would perform as if he had five on every one of his card face stats. It was stupid. It, it really was literally unbelievably stupid how badly he would perform in certain games. You know, he would make mistakes like you will see in this video. As you can see, for the first time, I've actually split my clips into two parts. For the goalkeeper's saves and the goalkeeper's fails. Let me know in the comment section down below, guys, if you would like to see this in future um, player reviews as well. I just had to include some of these fails by Seaman because they were too bad not to include, you know? These are the sort of situations where you expect a legend goalkeeper to do better and you would definitely not expect them to perform like this and make mistakes like this, you know? And that's one of the biggest downsides to Seaman, in my opinion. He would make stupid, unnecessary mistakes all the time. What mistakes might you ask? The mistakes that he makes constantly are in this video. And he also makes the stupid mistake where... Have you ever been in the situation, guys, where your goalkeeper is standing there, the ball is about to land or should land right in his hands and the keeper, he just fails, does a stupid save or just hits the ball over the line. He he done that a lot of the times with me and it got very frustrating and i got to say, it, it just made him that much worse to use, you know? And for a legend goalkeeper, I honestly expect more and that really did disappoint me to f see him perform and make that many mistakes uh, quite constantly, um, but let's whiz through my strengths and weaknesses. Final thoughts on the legend David Seaman, as we always do, guys. Going through his strengths, he's got very good diving for his card face stat, amazing reflexes, very good kicking, very good positioning, very good speed for a goalkeeper, and something that I failed to mention, he's got a very long and accurate throw, which is what I really like. It's a very, very good attribute to have in a goalkeeper, in my opinion. His weaknesses, surprisingly poor handling for a 90 handling stat. His handling is pretty poor, guys. And he parries the ball a hell of a lot. I found that to be a common thing with the legend goalkeepers. Every one of the legend goalkeepers seemed to parry the ball a lot. I don't know why they did that. Maybe I was just getting unlucky or maybe it's something that they do, you know? Uh, and the last weakness and the biggest weakness, he makes those stupid, unnecessary mistakes all the time and it just made him that much worse to use. So if you just saw, guys, as you can see, do I think he's worth it? No. 
when it comes to English goalkeepers, guys, there is no need to f- spend 400 and whatever K this guy is worth. Because honestly, in my personal opinion, this guy is no better than Joe Hart. You know, Joe Hart is a pretty reliable goalkeeper in this game. Don't get me wrong, Joe Hart's not the best goalkeeper in the game, without a doubt. He is a good English goalkeeper. But for 400k, Seaman performs just as good as Hart, where you can just pay a few thousand coins for Hart. So what's the point in buying Seaman? You know, that's the point I'm trying to get at, guys. Unless you're a millionaire on on Ultimate Team and you like to flash out your informs and your legends and your Team of the Years, that's pretty much the only reason why you should buy him, in my opinion. But if you've got, like, a hybrid team and you need any legend goalkeeper, I'd honestly recommend Van der Sar. He is the best legend goalkeeper, in my opinion, in the game. Final thoughts, final score, I've given him an 8.5. I didn't want to go any lower than that because he is a legend goalkeeper and he did perform very, very well at times. It's just, to counter that, he would make so many stupid mistakes that I don't expect from a legend goalkeeper. It just made me scratch my head and at times I honestly did feel like quick selling him. It was that bad, you know? But guys, that's going to wrap up my final thoughts on the legend, David Seaman. I really did hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I always hope it helped you decide whether or not to buy him. Bottom line, I honestly got to say he is not worth the coins, guys. But hit that subscribe button today if you haven't already. And as always from me, guys, take care. And I will see you all next time. Ta-da, guys.